Welcome back. Let's hear from our first entrepreneur, Jay Jero, the CEO of Rev. Welcome to the show, Jay. You have 90 seconds. Take it away. Thank you. Just two weeks ago, a report was released stating that Canada's power grid needs $293 billion in upgrades over the next 20 years to keep with the pace of growth and prepare for more renewables. So just imagine what the U.S. grid needs. So this is a big, big problem. And we're expecting 5 to 10 million electric cars on the road by 2020, which will just add to the load of the grid. Now, cars go unused and parked for about 96% of their useful life. So while plugged in, electric cars have the potential to be a vast network of energy storage reservoirs for the grid. So Rev's patent pending technologies unlocks those energy reservoirs and creates a potential for wide scale renewable power adoption, decreasing capital upgrades and creating efficiency gains system wide. Now this is known as vehicle to grid and is forecasted to be a $40 billion market by 2020 with a 43% compound annual growth rate. So today, our solution has been sold to the US Army, Burlington Hydro, and others, and we have a tremendous management team who's executing on our strategy of licensing the technology to fleet electric vehicle automakers, enabling us to become a $200 million high margin IT company. So we're looking for our first institutional financing of $10 million in two funding rounds, which will allow us to secure our first OEM licensee, which would be a tipping point for vehicle to grid. So in essence, our vision is like an energy internet enabling renewable power, which is enabled by electric cars. Whoa, right down to the deadline. That's the yes. pitch for Rev, John Sleeman. Well, um, when I first went on your website and looked at your company, I thought that your primary business was putting or retrofitting cars and putting electric cells, battery cells in cars. And so I was wondering how you were going to displace people who are already supplying the original equipment manufacturers. Is that a concern of yours? It's not, but you're absolutely right. Today, we're delivering electric vehicle solutions for fleets. And this is allowing us to demonstrate and, and uh, prove out the availability of using fleet electric vehicles so we can synchronize the duty cycles of electric vehicles with the duty cycle of the power grid and then turn those vehicles into battery packs for the grid. So your primary purpose is, in fact, taking power out of those batteries back into the grid as opposed to supplying the market with electric cars. Exactly. And how did your uh, first round of uh, fundraising go in, uh, in California in early April? In early April, we, oh, so this was the week before last, I believe, yeah. I was down in California and met with, uh, there were maybe 15 or 16 VC firms there from uh, Japan and Singapore and mostly Silicon Valley, of course, in New York. And I came back with uh, nine strong leads that uh, are already following up. Good. Yeah. Sarah. I, I guess I'm interested in who you're competing against. Like, who else is in this space and how far along are they? That's a, a really important question. There's, there's varying pieces of technologies that enable vehicle to grid. There's no massive technology changes required. So we're bringing well-known technologies like 3G and, and uh, VPN connections and battery pack technology as a solution. So as a solutions provider, nobody's really doing what we're doing. But there are a lot of technologies that we could compete with if we were trying to compete against those little pieces of the system. It's really about delivering the system. So what, what is your, your sort of, I guess, vision for future expansion? And are you going to continue with this model? Are there other channels, maybe direct to consumer, things like that, that you're looking in terms of the battery? Yeah, so, uh, so today, as you were saying, we have electric vehicle retrofits that we're mm -hmm. putting to fleet market. We want to roll out a couple hundred of those so that we're aggregating the power and capacity of a couple hundred battery packs in a given region like here in Ontario and then license the technology to the automakers, tier two, tier three fleet companies, mm -hmm. eventually to the consumer vehicles as there's more ubiquity on the road and more energy to manage by the thousands or millions of battery packs. Uh, it's a SaaS revenue model. It's a, a model where when you have power to bid into the market, the market is required by law to buy your power. And, uh, and it's a licensing model. So three key revenue streams. Interesting. Larry. Well, Sarah asked my competition question, so okay. we'll, uh, <laughs> I'll go on to the next one. Yeah. I guess congratulations. You've broken a record on the pitch because nobody's ever asked for 10 million bucks. All right. So, yeah, uh, that's, yes, uh, so congratulations. Uh, yeah. I, li I like an entrepreneur that's got, uh, well, I won't say it on air. Uh, but, but, but really, getting to the heart of it, my experience has been uh, getting the U.S. government as a customer, and you mentioned the U.S. Army, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, is uh, a pretty difficult task because they've got major hurdles to get through. So right away that gives me uh, hope that you've got something real here. So that be kind of my first hurdle. But my question would be, what's that $10 million going to do, and what percentage of the company are you going to give up to get it? Oh, the percentage of the company question. 
I'm not sure if I'll answer that on, on, uh, on TV here, but... Well, uh, you're not going to get our money without it. I know. Well, we, can, we can talk offline. Uh, <laughs> a, a healthy percentage, I would say. Uh, it is a Series A, so we, we have a reasonable valuation. And uh, the, uh, the other question about um, uh, what are we going to use the money for? So uh, $10 million gives us 24-month runway, gets us to a very critical milestone of licensing to at least one fleet electric vehicle automaker. Now, these guys roll out 5, 10, 50,000 vehicles in a single shot in, per year. So one licensee would really just instantly put the business on, on a track for uh, break-even very quickly. And that's the key thing is the de development of software and firmware, uh, building out our sales channel to develop and, and deliver and demonstrate the technology to major fleets. So we've partnered up with PJM, the world's largest wholesale electricity provider, who manages the electricity of about uh, 50 million Americans, so many utilities that they're partnering us up with that need energy storage from electric cars. Got to leave, leave it there, Jay. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, we'll thank you very we'll much. Have, we'll have you back later in the show for the big decision. All right. Jay Giraud. Up now. Well, it's decision time. Our panelists heard those two very different business pitches. Here's a recap. Our first entrepreneur was Jay Giraud, CEO of Rev. Our solution has been sold to the U.S. Army, Burlington Hydro, and others. And we have a tremendous management team who's executing on our strategy of licensing the technology to fleet electric vehicle automakers, enabling us to become a $200 million high margin IT company. Let's start with Rev. Would you put money into that idea, John? You know what? I think the timing is right. Um, certainly with the price of oil and the general public interest in electric cars, uh, the, the cool idea of being able to pull electricity back out of the batteries and sell it to the grid. Um, I'd like to learn more about it, but yes, I, I think I would be inclined to invest. Sir? You know, I have to agree with John. The timing is right for this market, and it's, it's early on these days, but it's going to continue to be a focus. Um, I guess, you know, my, my lingering question is, you know, why you uh, and why your company, right? And, uh, you know, with, with further investigation, I think it would be an interesting opportunity. Larry, would you put money into Rev? Yeah, uh, Andy, I think uh, I would. Uh, you've got a triple play on your hand today, Jay. Uh, the three, Sarah, John, and I all kind of mm -hmm. liked it. Uh, I think you need some work on aligning your pitch to your website. Uh, but I do yeah. like the, uh, the idea of you having um, what I call trademark customers, marquee customers like the government to sell off of. I think that's really going to help you with fundraising in the future. And uh, finding out a little bit more about margin, I think, would be helpful. You guys got the feeling, I think, collectively, you went to Jay's website, and yeah. it was hard to work out exactly what Rev was all about. Yes, yeah. and uh, I'm intrigued because it's such a great space. Green is really what everybody wants to invest in right now, so, so I don't think it would be too hard to articulate that message. And this isn't a problem that's going to go away. We're going to need to fix this electricity problem and, and generation, and how do we have electric cars versus gasoline cars. Yeah. So I think it's a good time. Jay, was that helpful at all? Yeah, very much, and uh, I, I feel you on the website. It's, uh, it's, in a way, it's dated because it's not communicating the vehicle-to-grid phenomenon that we're all about. In another way, it speaks to the fleet audience that, first and foremost, we've got to get those vehicles out there. So we're uh, part of the Series A. We'll definitely go towards uh, improving our marketing materials website, things like that. Can you tell us a little more about your U.S. military connection? Absolutely, yeah. The, uh, there's a, an organization in the U.S. Army called TARDEC, Tank and Automotive Research, and they are looking to... Uh, have 600,000 federal government uh, alternative-powered vehicles by 2020. And a big part of, the, of that is enabling federal U.S. vehicles to put power back into the grid for many reasons towards energy security and all of that. So Honeywell Aerospace uh, contracted us to develop and deliver the technology for the Army. And we have quotes with a couple other major military contracts. Right. We'll have to leave it there. So thanks so much to our judges, all returning champions, Larry Wasser. Sarah Prevet and John Sleeman. Thanks a million, guys. I hope nice you'll come back you. soon. Nice nice to see you. We're out of time on the pitch. Remember, if you have an idea that you'd like to bring on our show, and we do love hearing from entrepreneurs, we've been meeting some really exciting people, please email us at thepitch at bnn.ca. And uh, we've been hearing as well from uh, bureaucrats that they have money to give out to entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, governments have so contact us as well we want to hear from you the pitch at bnn.ca thanks very much for watching and thanks very much to our two entrepreneurs this week we'll be back same time next week